typical day was start at eight, about a six to eight hour day. Doing lawns, 10 to 15 lawns a day, going out mowing lawns in the sun for six to eight hours. We were pretty lax really with, with sun um, block. Often we'd put it on first thing in the morning, but it would wear off, no one would ever replace it. You'd put it on your forearms and that was it. I don't think anyone ever put it on their legs. The, the attitude of the day was that you put it on once and you hopefully it would stay there. No one thought it was ever going to come off. We really were very lax and it was the attitude of the day. No one wore a wide brimmed hat like this that protected you more. We thought nothing could ever hit us and um, we were wrong. Uh, after some years of working outside I was on holiday in Australia and discovered a lump on my arm. So. After a couple of months, I thought I'd better get something done about this. Went to my local GP who cut it off, sent it away. Then, then he rang me and said, you know, I'd like to see you and your wife in here. With, uh, which doesn't sound good when they ring and say that. And so we went in and saw him and he said, you know, it's a melanoma, quite a deep one, and we need to get onto it straight away. So within two days, I was in the hospital getting it cut out. That was five years ago the first one and then it came back again in uh, last year and I got another bit cut out and had a bit of radiation. Um, this was all because I couldn't be bothered putting on a bit of sunblock and a hat. So I think now we've got to just make sure we're aware to cover up all the time. It, it knocks you down quite a bit, something like this. It knocks your confidence for a while. You're more aware of the sun, that the sun is there, that how dangerous it is. I always wear a hat now. I wear a rash shirt when I swim, and I swim a lot. I don't swim as much as I used to. I, I never sunbathe. I was the typical New Zealand male that thought, she's right, there's nothing wrong with me, I'll carry on. Um, you get bumps here and there, you don't take a lot of notice of it. But I think now is the time that we've all got to be aware of our own bodies and the little changes that are made and go and see the doctor. Go and get someone to check it. Get your wife to have a look if it's something on your back and you're not sure of. Go and get it checked out because in the end it can kill you. Well, I was 19 and I had a small little mole on my chest and didn't really think much of it. I've never really been a sun person and decided that maybe I should get it checked out. It started to change colour a little bit. So I went to a doctor and they seemed to think it would be all right but took it out as a precaution and had it biopsied. And uh, the week before my 20th birthday, I was told that I had malignant melanoma. It was one of the biggest shocks of my life, I think. Um, terrifying, you have all the associations that you hear about with the, the death rate for melanoma in New Zealand, things like that, and so they scheduled me in for a second round of surgery uh, to do a wider excision around where it was on my chest and thought that would be the end of it and a few weeks later they called me again to say that they'd found more than they expected and that I'd need another surgery so I went back in for the third round and that was a really deep excision, really long, about 60 stitches and a lot of pain and oh, it was horrible. It was, couldn't move for a number of weeks and on lots of painkillers so it was yeah not a nice experience. From a very young age I was into the outdoors my family encouraged me to be out there and active and doing rock climbing, skiing, snowboarding all sorts. I was never really a person that loved lying in the sun I'd always tend to cover up but I suppose there was a few times where I did get badly burned as a child but never enough that I'd think that melanoma would be the end result. It's definitely made me a lot more aware and also just knowing a lot more of the fact that I could get it when I was 19. It's a big wake up call on sort of how you look after yourself. I think now with myself, I mean I love the outdoors, I love getting outside and being active and doing all that stuff. It's not a matter of stopping doing that, it's a matter of being aware of covering up and staying out of those sun, the sun in that critical time and being safe and also knowing to look at your skin and look for changes and be aware that you know if something's worrying you there's nothing wrong with getting it checked out you know it's only going to take a couple of minutes of your time to to possibly save your life so yeah my message to young people is that it can happen to anyone 
you know, you're not bulletproof. Your body is something that can, you just, you have no idea of when that it could hit and you don't have to be out there and in the sun every day getting exposure to, for melanoma to happen. So it's just really being aware and taking care of yourself, doing stuff that is going to help you in the long run. What I went through, the, the pain, the, the length of the surgeries, the emotional and the physical and the mental, everything was just horrible. I'd never wish it on anyone and if you can avoid that, why would you, why would you even put yourself through it if there's a way to stop it happening? Thank you.